close your eyes and try to be comfortable with the breath. Experiment with, experiment with some long breathing for a while to see if a long breathing feels good. And if it does, keep it up. And if it doesn't, you can change. You're trying to create a place where the mind can feel at ease in the present moment. With a sense of well-being, a sense of belonging here. One of the Pali terms for meditation, or the state of the mind in concentration, is Vihara Dhamma, the home for the mind. And as with any house, you've got to, as I said, it takes a heap of living to make a house a home. Okay, You've got to stay here for a while and get to know the breath well, figure out what's comfortable for you and what you need right now. Because what you need today may not be what you needed last night. You want to keep on top of what the body's needs are in the present moment. And that way you can feel really stable here. Because the mind needs to be stable in the present moment, because there's so many things in the world outside that are going to knock it off, off balance. And so it needs its stable center. So you want to work on this, protect this. Anything that comes up in the mind that would disturb this, you've got to say, well, that's a cause of suffering right now, and don't want to go with it. Do what you can to let it go. And you'll see that the mind finds some allure in these things that pull it away. So you've got to learn how to see through that. And the best way to see through the allure of these things is to give the mind a sense of well-being now. Otherwise, if it's hungry and tired, it's going to go for anything at all. But if it's well-rested and has a sense of well-being, a sense of sufficiency in the present moment, then you look at other things and say, oh, no, I don't need that anymore. You can see right through the appeal. That's nothing really worth going to. So giving the mind a sense of well-being in the mind is an important part of the strategy of getting it past a lot of its other attachments. People say you're stuck on pleasure. Well, well it's, it's a good pleasure to be stuck on. The pleasure of a centered mind, the pleasure of being able to be in your own body and feel like you belong here. That's a good attachment to have. Hold on to it for the time being, because it will see you through a lot of other issues in life. <laughs>